there. Say hello. Yes. More milky, more milky. In the morning, she's laser focused on milk. Hi. Yeah. Are you full? You want more? Oh, you got a little milk in there. More? Oh my god. Okay, honey. Good morning. Sage now officially sleeps in a little bit later. She is waking up between seven and seven thirty. Today was seven fifteen. I hear birds and it's not from your sound machine. Uh, we are filming uh, another uh, 24 hours with the baby, this time crawling style because Sage is a crawling machine and I wanted to film another one of these videos before she's officially walking. If you're new here, I have a 24 hours with a newborn video and a 24 hours with a six month old when she started eating solids. And today, it's 24 hours with a crawling baby. You were not happy when you first woke up. No. We're going to show you everything, how many diaper changes, feedings, milks, all the things. So, get ready. Woo. Get ready for it. And we're also teething. Yay. <laughs> This is her best friend. His name is Teddy. <laughs> okay, I was just showing them. Aww. Thank you. Everything is sharing. Here you go. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Look at those teeth. Oh my god, they're okay. always coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Can mommy see? Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. We don't touch the teeth. Okay. Her top two have cut through and she's got two little ones on the bottom. Okay, there you go. So she hangs out in here while mom and dad just wake up, use the washroom, make a coffee, and then we make her some breakfast. Nice. You watching your pickle melon? Cutter is great because it just does like a crinkle design and it's easier for slippery items for a baby to pick up. These are the pancakes I just made for her. They're like a coconut flour blueberry one that she really likes. Sagey is getting strapped up. Time to eat. <laughs> Mama. Yeah, we're almost ready. We'll start with two pancakes, although I know you're gonna have more. I just got the pancakes into strips so she can hold them. Same with the avocado, but use that crinkle cutter. It just makes it less slippery. So we're just kind of teaching her how to eat larger pieces of food mm -hmm. that are still soft and baby friendly. We love pancakes, huh? More? I want to try one of these. Mm -hmm. That's equally delicious. And then I always just keep a little station here, the cutting board and some extras just to keep topping her up if she's hungry and she eats a lot. We'll like add more to her plate if she's still hungry. And then the extra pancakes that she doesn't eat, I'll just put in the fridge and she can have for tomorrow. 
I'm also gonna take my avocado hugger, put it on this guy, and he'll be good for a couple days in the fridge. Is that Kesha outside? Yeah, so once she's done having her breakfast, we like to just let her roam around on the ground. I usually find that's when she poops. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, Cashew. Come on, Cashew. Come on. Come. Okay. <laughs> All right, so best thing I ever, ever bought for Sage has been the $17 bag of Mega Blocks. Come, come, come. What are you doing? Loves them. Yeah. Hours of fun. Well, minutes, but feels like hours. Whoa. Let's put all the turquoise together. There you go, you love your Lego. I would say Sage's favorite things at this like age, if there are books around, she's always attracted to them. The Lego, like stuffies, loves her teddy. And those are like the three must-haves right now. Yeah. Really? Say hi. Where's Teddy? And she now knows things like if I say, where's your teddy or where's your book? She'll actually go and pick up that item. So it's been really cool to be able to communicate with her more. Where before you just feel like you're talking to, you know, a wall. And it's really cool to actually see her communicate back to you or know, at least understand kind of what you're saying. And she's cruising. Not walking yet, but we're cruising. We're going to go for a walk. I think your cousin Caitlin and your... Tia Chris are gonna come too. I think we're gonna pick up some family along the way. Get some recruits. Look at these girls waiting for their walk. Ah. Ah. Oh, cash. Cash. No, 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 licky. Uh, 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 too much licky. Uh. Hey, 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 hey. Let's get her dressed. Okay, uh, stop looking, Sage. Good girl in the same area. Such a good girl. This is what changing an 11 month old looks like. Hates it. Good job, man. <laughs> Oh, you know what she's been really liking? Hey. These guys. So, trick is distraction. Ooh. Whoa. Milky? So she's pretty tired. She'll probably cry just for a couple minutes and then pass right out. Honestly, babies in sleep is like a whole other video. And I actually have a video on my channel where I talk about everything that we did to help Sage sleep through the night. It's been a journey. And honestly, I feel like we're at such a good place now with her sleep routine. And I know her cries. I know, you know, when she's overtired. 
And I feel like the more you understand your baby and like different cues and stuff, it just really helps create a good sleep routine. And Sage definitely likes going to bed at the same time every single day for naps and bedtime. And that's when she does her best. And, you know, she had a little bit of like a nine month sleep regression because she was like learning a lot developmental wise. And now she's like back into her sleep routine, which is awesome. She currently does two naps and then her bedtime bedtime is around like 6 37 so first nap is you it's a little bit late today because we met up with some family on our walk but her first nap the best time is 9 30. i'm actually gonna have a full blog post that i'm gonna link down below and it will list out like her routine and everything at the stage and link to any of those videos like the sleep one i also have one on breastfeeding and all of those different aspects of raising a baby because there's just a lot to learn and we're just figuring it out day by day. Oh, it smells like poop in here. Oh, Matt, you smell it? It stinks. I'm sorry, I just, I just stink in here. God, what did you do? Oh, it's so stinky. Oh, okay. Oh, oh it's so stinky. It's a bad one. Oh, oh, pee. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. Open the window. <laughs> you made it stinky. <laughs> you made it stinky. You made it stinky. What's you want's daddy? You want daddy? Okay. Yeah. Oh man. I feel so much lighter. He loves her daddy. So much lighter. These two. I can't get over. She's like five pounds lighter now. I feel good after that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. So she slept for an hour and a half. So now we're just gonna, it's play time. I probably could have gotten ready while she was napping, but I was enjoying my breakfast and did a little bit of work. And we're gonna do some play time. I usually breastfeed her. Honestly, I feel like because I'm at home with her, I breastfeed her more on demand as opposed to like a very strict schedule. I tend to breastfeed her before and after a nap. I know some people just choose one, but yeah, that's just kind of what I do. So I will breastfeed her in a little bit, and then she usually eats her meals an hour after waking. So in about 45 minutes or so, we'll get her lunch together, which I made a really yummy lentil beef bolognese sauce last night. So she'll probably have that on top of like pasta or something. Hi, Daisy. Uh -huh. Hi. <laughs> Going to daddy? <laughs> hey yo. Could be walking soon. Let's go. <laughs> She's so happy. Can cashew. <laughs> cashew, why you got a photo bomb? Why well, you got your photo bomb? Hi. <laughs> They're both crawling over to you. Come here. Whoa. I've been trying to make a good point to make sure I'm sitting in a good position when breastfeeding because I'm almost at the year mark and it does a number on your back and your shoulders and neck. And I actually just went to an osteopath the other day and please don't flash the camera. My so I was trying to get a different angle. Anyways, I just noticed that like, I've been hunching a lot, just breastfeeding her in like whatever easy position seems easy at the time, but it just ends up like making things worse with my back. So I'm either sitting in my nursing chair, supported, I got my pillow, I still use nursing pillows and on our bed, I will use a lot of pillows to support my back and also prop her up because she's still a, a fairly small baby. So I feel like 
she still needs like pillows and stuff or I do so that I'm bringing her to my chest and not the other way around. And also just trying to get into better, more comfortable positions. Like her front facing me, like straddling me is more comfortable because she can sit up and her head is already at the right height. And also just side lying when I'm breastfeeding is best. I find like the cradling method now, like I'm having to hunch over and it just like puts a lot of strain on my upper back. So no more of that proper position. It's funny, a year later and I'm still learning to properly breastfeed so I don't break my back. Have a little cuddle sesh. This is the best part about breastfeeding still is like she's so go, go, go now. Yeah, oh, milky. Okay, other side. Um, <laughs> she's so go, go, go that it's nice to be able to pause. And whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding, I feel like it's just nice to have them be still for a little bit. You can just like reminisce on the newborn days except with more sleep don't you hey matt when you give her a bottle don't you think it's nice like she gets all quiet and still mm -hmm. you're like chills out. oh just my little baby again yeah we are on the second poop within an hour what is going on all that food you're eating is having to come out okay next diaper ah. holy smokes Okay, second poop of the day complete. some lunch for sage I made a huge batch of this lentil and beef bolognese loaded with veggies so I made that last night so I'm probably gonna have to freeze some of it I'm just boiling up some organic spirals sorry Matt's cutting the grass in the back I got the sauce cooking up I'm also gonna thaw a applesauce puck I like to freeze stuff in these little pucks and then I can just easily thaw it and then she can have some applesauce for her dessert. Tia Chloe is here <laughs> on baby duty. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish getting her lunch. Woo! Steamy. Put the sauce on top. Add a little nutritional yeast. And this is my dishwasher helper. Thank you. No, 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 ah, 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 ah. Nobody wants a dog on their dishes, girl. Whoa, what are you doing? Are you doing? having spiral pasta. I just cut them in half. Anytime it's a new food, I always make it smaller. Mostly so I'm comfortable with it, but she's a really good eater, but she eats really fast, so. Okay, you getting some? Oh. So pasta is a hit. You want some applesauce? Here, you do it. This is the applesauce we made from the apples we picked. Mmm. More? More. We get a lot of questions, or I get a lot of questions on how I taught Sage to sign. And honestly, it's just been repetition since she was six months. I just started doing it every time we were eating and eventually they just pick up. They are like little sponges. And for the longest time you feel like you are talking to a wall and they're never gonna get it. And then all of a sudden, one day it just clicks and they start using them. So she knows more, all done, milky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're doing that. Yeah, wow, she just did all three. <laughs> 
And it's been really cool. <laughs> for, okay, all right, more. Okay, more. And yeah, it's been really cool to just add on to them. And you can use them for things outside of food. If you're playing, they've had enough with something, it's just a cool way to be able to communicate. No? Okay, you do it. Okay, just to add on to the whole like teaching your baby sign language, I honestly, I'm no expert. I just like found some research about like how it's great to be able to teach them to speak before they can actually speak and use their words. So I found it really helpful to do the sign language during meal time. And yeah, and you know, I have her food off to the side, especially now that she's really into like the finger foods and stuff. So that way she just doesn't like put handfuls in her mouth. But basically I'll put a little bit on her plate and then when she's done, I'll always be like more. And then I give her the food and I say more. And I just repeat it and repeat it around the scenario that we want them to use it in. And same thing with all done. When she was all done, um, I would do that and take away everything. So I would take away her plate, take her bib out. So she understood like all done means we are done eating. <laughs> And Milky, Milky was a quick one. Honestly, the, the ones, I feel like once they understand at least one sign, it's like easier to build on other ones. Like the Milky one was so quick. I just say it and then give her breast milk. And just that repetition of it, she understood like, ooh, this means she's gonna get the boob. And same thing with her bottle and stuff. So it's really just about matching the word with the action and just doing it again and again even when it feels like they're not getting it these little heads are like sponges which to that point is actually made me more aware of like what sage is absorbing in her environment like even the other day we were watching squid game and i made sure that she did not watch that movie or that show and before i would have thought oh she's like she's not even paying attention like we can watch whatever we want and like now i just to see how much she absorbs so easily i'm just like more aware of like what's on the tv not that we really watch tv for us when she's up because she's just like on the go and we're, we usually watch tv when she's in bed but like it's just something that you are aware of once you start to see how fast they're learning and she's mimicking everything i do if i go Mamma, 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 mamma. Mamma, 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 mamma. Arms up. Yeah. Clap. Clap. Oh, don't get sauce in your face. Oh. Oh, we're going to have to have a bath today. Oh. Oh. Oh, honey, you got sauce right in your eye. Yeah, in your eye. How is mommy going to get that out? <laughs> There's literally a piece of pasta in the corner of eye. Okay, anyways, we're gonna finish eating, clean up this mess, maybe give her a bath. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was good. Tip to having a good eater is let them get messy and <laughs> enjoy their food, right? Okay, daddy's gonna clean you up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do your photos. We got the photo. All right, headband off. That was a task. <laughs> Seiji, good job. High five. Seiji, high five. Yeah. High five. Okay, oh, fine. Okay, let's uh, stay on the bed, please. Someone's very tired. <laughs> Full on meltdown two minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Right? Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. This is Alice. Alice follows a white rabbit through the woods. On her journey, she meets a peculiar caterpillar. Who are you? He asks. Oh, he's so tired. Alice attends a tea party with a bunch of new friends.
think her teeth are really bothering her today. It's because those two top ones are trying to come in. It's like she knows this helps. A little drop left. Number two, Sage has a mum mum. She is in full blown teething. We just gave her another homeopathic teething medicine tube and she seems to be calm. Yeah, you're such a brave girl. Look at those teeth coming in. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, oh, you can see that. I know. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Sage's dinner tonight. We have some sweet potato and peas, some wild salmon, and a peanut butter coconut cookie that I made. Homemade cookies. Just sprinkle some. And I honestly like to just mix her food. That way she can pick what she wants. And sometimes it's just like nice for her to like just pick up the peas, just pick up the sweet potato. It's kind of like a matching game. And then same thing with the sweets. I add them at the same time. That way we're not like separating them as much. And honestly, she'll go for a pea before a cookie and then go back to the cookie. And it's kind of like mixing them all. Okay. Also, we just started using this mat. It's also great because if stuff falls on the floor like she's doing right now, we can just pick it up and put it back on because it's clean. Yeah, but it's also easy just to wipe up instead of on the floor. It's big enough. That's a big piece. Matt, it's big enough. Oh, Matt cuts everything so tiny. She can do it. It's salmon. Salmon's a little like flaky. Like. Show, show what you do. This is it. Block. Like, <laughs> Side. It's the blinders here. Yeah, Matt tries to get nothing on the floor, so he does this with his arms, and he'll try to catch it. I just let her make a mess. Or I just kind of like... Gently guide her yeah, to, yeah. No, 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 no. to putting it into her mouth. Yeah. 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 Who would you say feeds Sage most? Me. Like who actually like sits and feeds yeah. her? Me. Yeah. Hundred percent. But like you, you make I'll the food more obviously. Yeah. Like you make the food like I'll, I'll heat it up. Um, or yeah. like easy peas like now, but easy peasy peas. But you make the. Actually. Okay, I'm gonna go meditate since I didn't get to do it this morning. And this girl's gonna have her dinner. We feed her earlier, that way she has some time to like digest before actually going to bed since she goes to bed around like 6.37. So we obviously don't go to bed at 6.30, so that way here. we just eat our dinner later. Need to reach up there, come on. Crazy girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, enjoy your peas. That looks good, I would eat that for dinner. Oh my 
my goodness, Sage. Like, let me get that book. Ten little fingers and ten little toes. That's the book. Hiccup. There was one little baby who was born from far away. And another who was born the very next day. And both of these babies, as everyone knows, had ten little fingers and ten little toes. Had ten little fingers and ten little toes. Sure, Cash, you jump on up, girl. Okay, you can go up. It's fine. Okay. Come on. Come on. And both of these babies, as everyone knows. That's the late reaction girl. Look at how happy she is. <laughs> oh, yeah, she knows what's up. Not as good? Not as good as the fresh stuff, huh? Say bye. Bye bye. Bye. Say say bye. Bye bye. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way. All right, this little girl is off to bed. I'm actually heading to my mom's because we like to watch Dancing with the Stars on Monday nights. So I'm gonna have dinner over there, and Matt gets his alone time. We both get like just time away from each other, which is sometimes nice. We spend all the time together. But thank you so much for watching this video and just sharing in the journey of 24 hours with a crawling, teething 11 month old. I can't believe she's gonna be one in a month. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh Crazy, my God. Eh? Yeah, the next one of these will be 24 hours with a one year old. So cool. If you guys like these types of videos, I actually have other ones. I have a newborn one and a six month old one when Sage first started eating. So you guys can check that out. I'll do a little playlist or something and I'm gonna have a full blog post sharing the details from today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Lots of love from our family to yours and don't forget to subscribe. I post here every single week, Wednesday and Friday. Yeah. Mwah. Kiss. Mwah. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs>